by now, a lot of you have probably already seen uh, the video running around Facebook and Instagram and so on and so forth, uh, where they stole some video footage of my uh, review of that old Chinese Boreal shirt that I did a while back. Uh, in case you haven't seen it, here's a little clip of it. Now, I find it funny about that video because, quite frankly, the only part of that advertising video that actually shows the product you receive is uh, the stolen footage from my video. Uh, of course, they cut away from where I showed the actual product to where I showed the, uh, the label from a Lester River Boreal shirt. Uh, that shirt is... The one that you get from these uh, ads where they're selling it for $40, $50 or whatever it is. Now, uh, what you actually get is 0% uh, wool uh, as opposed to the 100% wool that you get from the other companies that they use their advertising footage from. Uh, they've expanded their game this year and stolen footage from a whole bunch more uh, places. Uh, last year, it was just footage from uh, Lester River and... Uh, Empire wool, which is really the same thing, and uh, weather wool. Well, like I said, I find it cute because the only thing in the video of the actual product you get is the stolen clip from me. Uh, just a few seconds in, uh, you saw it. So, uh, this is what I did last year. Uh, I ordered that thing, and... Uh, I waited for it to come in. I, I honestly didn't expect anything to come in. Uh, I expected it to be a complete ripoff. Uh, but a 42 days, I think it was, later, uh, the product actually arrived. And uh, it was a little, basically a fleece pullover. And uh, last year, after I got it, I did the review video. And I went back to all of their ads on Facebook. Because what they were doing, uh, they were using the same footage uh, for advertising. Uh, but it was a whole bunch of different company names, and uh, that was their scam last year. As soon as as soon as they got done running one company name, they ran another company name, then they ran another company name and another company name, selling the same things over and over again. And uh, last year, after I did the review video, I went back and I started copying and pasting a link to my review video on every one of their ads that I saw. Uh, it took them about two weeks to figure it out. And uh, they banned me from um, being able to make comments on any of their videos. They got me blocked for making con comments and so on and so forth on their ads. And uh, this year, after people brought it to my attention that they were using my footage in their advertisements this year, I started doing the same thing. And uh, it's only been, I don't know, a week maybe. And they've already got me blocked from all their ads. So, if you guys want to play with them, you can go ahead and go back to the old video, the original link uh, for the review video, and you guys can start posting the link to the video if you'd like. Uh, I don't, I don't expect you to do that, but I think it's a fun little thing because they're running a scam. And uh, like I said in the review video, it's not actually a bad pullover. It's just not what they advertise. Uh, so that's really about all I've got. And I just wanted to get a little video out today and uh, let you guys know what's going on. And before you guys ask, somebody got mad at me last time because they couldn't see the, uh, whole, the whole shirt. It says, I'm aging like a fine cigar. Full bottle, full bodied and a little leathery. So don't complain you couldn't read the whole shirt. Uh, other than that, thanks for your views. Thanks for your support. Thanks for supporting my buddies. Um... That's all I've really got. Hope to see y'all in the woods. Uh, just another few days until we're all down at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Uh, Dave and Sean are actually going to show off some overlanding rigs. And uh, they're having me along to uh, show the homeless guy down at the river uh, van video, or van uh, guy. So uh, 
I really don't have much much built in the van because I've torn it out and, and, and redone it three times now. And I haven't really decided where I'm going to go with it. So, you'll just see somewhere that I can sleep in the van and go camping. That's really about it. But, other than that, you guys can come down, chat with us, BS around the fire. Just come on down and have a good time. Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Uh, I want to say it's like the second weekend. We got the first weekend of October coming up this weekend, the first full weekend, and uh, then it's the weekend after that. Uh, any of you coming to the school this week for for basic class uh, coming up soon? Be ready. Mm -hmm. Talk to y'all later. Bye.